literally filming this again because the first take I literally had lipstick all over my teeth <laughs> whatever hey guys welcome back to my channel as you guys saw from today's title I will be sharing all of my Invisalign tips as long as showing you guys everything that I carry around with me in my little Invisalign pouch a couple things before we get started so i've had invisalign for a month now i actually started my fifth tray last night which brings me to my number one tip you guys if you are starting a new tray start it the night before that way you can sleep away any pain any soreness it's the easiest way to not feel any discomfort with the first tray because every time you put in a new tray there's so much pressure on your teeth obviously because the tray is getting ready to move your teeth that it is really uncomfortable and sleeping through the pain it's such a better alternative than having to go through your day through school or work with a painful mouth because you decided to put in your aligner first thing in the morning so always start a new tray the night before okay like I was saying I started my fifth tray last night I have been pretty lucky so far obviously my teeth are sore but it's nothing that I can't handle I haven't really felt that much pain and I haven't even had to like take a pain reliever I I know that some people feel a lot of pain when they wear Invisalign. I don't. The first week of having Invisalign in, I was super uncomfortable and I didn't know how I was going to get through the week, let alone a year of treatments. But it does get better. Your mouth does get used to it. Your teeth are going to be sore. There's no way around it. Just think if your teeth are not sore, then Invisalign really isn't working because your teeth are literally moving. Think about it when you work out. After a workout, you feel super sore, but then you're actually proud of that soreness because you know that you put in work. Your teeth are putting in work. That's why they're sore. I do have a slight lisp whenever I start a new tray just because my mouth is trying to figure out what's going on, but it goes away after a couple days. But since I did start a new tray last night, there might be a slight lisp in this video. Just deal with it, ignore it, what can I do? One thing to know is that I do switch out my aligner trays every week. I know that some people switch them out every two weeks. I actually like that I switch them out every week because I don't have to worry about stains as much because I literally only have them in my mouth for seven days before I get some new fresh ones. So keep that in mind and let me show you what I carry around with me and then I'll share some more tips along the way. Also, another tip that I have is for you to get a small little pouch. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You can get one on Amazon. I got this really cute one from Amazon for like 10 bucks, I think, and it holds all of my essentials. That way you don't have to worry about taking toothpaste and a toothbrush into the bathroom in the middle of a packed restaurant. This is a lot more discreet and it's cute no one will blink twice if you pull this out and take it with you to the bathroom let me show you guys what i have first thing that i carry around with me is this hello toothpaste this is the toothpaste that i use at home i can't find it in the travel size version which is why i carry around the full size version with me but i've been using this toothpaste for the past two years and it's my favorite toothpaste the only one i'm willing to use it's the activated charcoal epic whitening toothpaste from hello i swear by this some people when they try Try it out get like freaked out because the toothpaste is black and they think it's going to stain their teeth but it's charcoal of course it's going to be black and it honestly makes your teeth so white so highly highly recommend this toothpaste and then this is the mouthwash that i use at home i can't carry this big ass bottle around with me and i can't find a travel size version but i wanted to show you guys the mouthwash that i use at home and it's from hello combined with the toothpaste it just works wonders on your teeth this does come out black as well but i haven't seen that my aligners stain at all maybe because i switch out my trays every week so i don't have my tray isn't that long for me to notice if there's a stain on them or not they also have a clear version of this so if you're not comfortable using the charcoal one you can definitely get the clear one but i just love hello products they're vegan cruelty free and i think they use clean ingredients so it's a win-win i don't know how i forgot to mention this in my video but i'm editing and i realized that i forgot to mention that i use the hello floss it's from the same line as the toothpaste and the mouthwash so it is charcoal floss i floss every night before bed i normally don't carry this in my bag with me just because i don't typically floss during the day and i probably should but i just floss um, before i go to bed 
and this is the one I use. Okay, let's continue on with the video. Since I can't carry around that big old bottle of Hello mouthwash, I do use this Crest one. This isn't my fave mouthwash, but it does the job. It kills the germs and freshens up my breath. I don't use this all the time. I only use it whenever I don't have time to brush my teeth. If I'm out at a restaurant or if I'm at the movies, I just use this to rinse my mouth really quickly before I put my aligners back in. Or if I feel like I need a quick refresher I'll just use this with my tray still in speaking of minty freshness I love these mints so I carry around these mints with me absolutely everywhere these are essential I got these from Amazon I honestly discovered them when I started my Invisalign treatments they are just so good they're just like little white mints I pop them in they're safe to be in your mouth with your trays in. I just got the peppermint flavor because they're white and I like peppermint, but they do have a ton of other flavors if peppermint is not your jam. And these are really good to just refreshing your mouth throughout the day. My mouth tends to get really dry ever since I started my Invisalign treatment. Also, I'm always thirsty. I drink so much more water now with my trays in than ever before in my life, which I guess is a perk. But since my mouth does get really dry at times, I just like to have these so I can freshen up my breath, get the saliva going a little bit in my mouth. And these have been a lifesaver, especially since I can't chew gum. I also bought a additional tray and I got this from Amazon. Invisalign does give you a little black tray, which I have as well. But I like to have two because this one stays in my bag. This one stays at home. So there are moments where I decide last minute to go outside or go out to eat with my husband. The last thing on my mind is to grab this tray it's happened to me a lot that's why i decided to buy a second tray that i can keep inside my bag at all times and not have to worry about forgetting my tray that way i don't have to put my aligners on a napkin or anything like that because i think that's gross and you can also forget and throw them away invisalign is too expensive to be throwing away trays left and right highly highly recommend to get two trays one is included in your invisalign treatment and then this one was about 12 bucks on amazon so you really can't go wrong and then inside the tray itself i like to keep a little chewy these are a lifesaver and they're going to make your treatment go so smoothly every time you put in your aligner you just want to make Make sure that you bite down on this to make sure that your liner is sitting perfectly on your teeth it's going to make sure that your teeth are actually tracking and moving on time I got these from my orthodontist office but honestly they sell them on Amazon as well for like 12 bucks not gonna lie using a chewy the first day when you put in a tray hurts because your teeth are so sore from moving all night but again it's so important to be using your chewies during your treatment plan to make sure that your aligners are fitting perfectly on your teeth because sometimes your first tray of the week will feel a little bit loose and once you bite down on the chewy they fit perfectly so it's really important to use your chewies and then i have a toothbrush as well i'm not a huge fan of this toothbrush i got it from cvs for like two bucks i think it's a travel size toothbrush the bristles are really really soft which is perfect if your teeth are sore that day but i feel like it doesn't do a good job of cleaning my teeth but i don't feel like bringing my big ass battery power toothbrush with me everywhere so i just have this little purple one you have to brush your teeth every time you eat before you put your aligners back in that way food doesn't get trapped in there and you don't have to worry about getting cavities or your teeth decaying because that's not going to be fun so remember to brush your teeth after you eat and before you put your aligners in and in order to keep my aligners clear and stain free i use these retainer bright cleaning tablets i use them twice a day so first thing in the morning and right before i go to bed they kill 99 percent of common odor causing bacteria removes plaque and tar and cleans and brightens your aligner so these are a lifesaver i found this random brand on amazon so i decided to pick it up and it brings a hundred tablets for a four month supply which is perfect you literally just take a little small tablet from the package pop it into a little bowl with your aligners submerge your aligners in water leave it in for 15 minutes and your aligners are going to be brand spanking new i think this is one of the reasons why my aligners are so clear because my orthodontist did mention to not use toothpaste to clean my aligners because one it can scratch them and two it can 
and make them like foggy and you don't want to have like foggy aligners in your mouth it's just not going to look right some people use it like once a day right before they go to bed but I prefer to use them first thing in the morning one because I feel like I've had them for eight hours in my mouth and the saliva has just been sitting there so I feel more comfortable starting my day with a fresh pair of aligners that's why I clean them with this tablet and then at night I've had them in my mouth again all day I just want to freshen them up before I sleep with them all night so I just like doing it twice a day whatever floats your boat whatever works best for you once you start your Invisalign treatment you'll find the routine that works best for your needs during the day I don't use these I just rinse my aligners with water or mouthwash and then this right here has been a lifesaver for me I don't know who came up with this I don't know who invented this but I love them this is dental wax another thing to note with your aligners is that sometimes they can be really sharp I know that my first two trays were really really sharp and it was cutting my lip a little bit so I picked this up and ever since then I haven't had any other problem with my aligners you literally just take a small piece roll it into a ball with your two fingers and put it wherever you're experiencing discomfort and it's going to take away the soreness the pain the cuts like that promise you well this one is a minty flavor so it actually freshens your breath as well which i love and it's also safe to sleep in so you don't have to worry about taking it out before you fall asleep when i was researching ways to ease the discomfort from invisalign i also saw that people were recommending taking a nail file and filing down the sharp edges of your aligner trays i tried that it didn't work maybe i didn't file enough but i bought these and these do the job perfectly and then i don't have to worry about damaging my aligners because I filed too much by mistake so really like these highly recommend it's so stupid to me how some trays are sharper than others when we're literally paying thousands of dollars for these treatments you would think that they would get that shit under control before giving you new trays but no that's not the case unfortunately and then I also carry these wet ones these are good to have to just wipe down your hands they're also good for me personally when I use the black charcoal toothpaste I can clean the sink before I leave and I can clean up any messes as well so these are very handy to have I used to always carry these with me anyways even before I started Invisalign but these are just even more crucial to have in my bag ever since I got braces. I also carry around hand sanitizer, but for some reason it's not in my little pouch unless I've fallen into my purse, but definitely keep a bottle of hand sanitizer with you at all times. That way you can sanitize your hands before you pop out your aligners. Another tip that I have is that if you're struggling to remove your aligners, they actually sell a little removal tool that you can use to take them out. I don't need to use that because I personally find it super easy to just pop these suckers out but I do know that some people do struggle with taking them out so if you do struggle I'll have some of those tools linked below so you can check them out for yourself and see if they work for you that's pretty much everything that I carry around with me and those are my top Invisalign tips if you guys have any questions regarding anything that I mentioned in today's video feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to each and every one of you I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe I would love to have be a part of my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!